Ban is, is short for Broadband for the Rural North and it is a community interest company like a cooperative so it's owned totally by the people uh, with shares in the company. It's a pure fibre network. It delivers a fibre, well two fibres, to every single property in every parish that we adopt. Um, it delivers a thousand megabit per second symmetrical, which makes it the fastest residential network in the world. I believe it's even faster than NASA. We get more internet than NASA at, at, in our little farms. When we did the first plan in 2011, it was uh, a fairly modest. It was about eight parishes, which is sort of about the middle of that plan. What happened was as soon as we actually started going active and people saw things happening, the next parish is along, and these ones around the corner, and those ones up there, they all started saying, why can't we join in? To finance this project, when we couldn't get any funding or support from anybody else, um, we decided to make it into a cooperative, a community interest cooperative. So we had it all drawn up and legalised and done properly with rules and regulations. And we can never sell this company. This company belongs to the people. So what we did, we went to the people and we said, look, it's going to cost this much. If you will put that money into this business, we'll start this business and we'll buy all this duct, then we'll give you the duct back and you dig it all in. So you dig it through your land, to your houses, to your farms, to your villages. And then when you've got it all dug in, we'll come and blow some fibre through it and light it up and make it work. And where it's a landowner or a farmer and they've got a lot of digging to do, they can get paid at £1.50 a metre in shares. So we don't pay them any money, but we pay them in shares. They pay £150 for the connection. In some cases, it might cost us £2,000 to connect that house, but they just pay £150. And, um, that's whether they take the service or not because as I say some people will just put it in and not take the service but they've increased the value of the property and the people who do take the service everybody pays £30 a month. If a parish is accepted it's got to commit to raising enough money to do its own parish so this can be 200, 300, you know nearly a million pounds in some cases to do a whole parish and they have to commit to do every single property in that parish. They can't say, oh, we're not doing Fred up on the hill because he's too expensive or too, it'll take too long. They do the whole parish. Everybody in the community is entitled to a connection. But all the, all the manual labour, going through gardens, putting boxes on walls, on houses, all that's done by local community volunteers in each parish. But any profit we make, any, it's called income over expenditure that we make, has to be returned to the community. I'm now connected where you, we've got uh, the full facility of barn. It's, it's like coming out of a dark cave into daylight for people who have not had that speed on internet.